Hello everyone, welcome to this new video by Prepinsta. In this video, we'll be covering uh, everything that you need to know about Infosys. And this video will cover all your doubts from A to Z about Infosys. May it be the written test or the interview or how to apply the cutoff, the pattern and everything. So, you know, just sit tight and watch this video till the end and uh, you'll be able to know everything or the smallest doubt of yours will be cleared. If not, you can always ask questions in the comment section below after this video completes and we'll, we always answer those questions. I'll also like to tell you that, you know, 95% of the students who were placed in Infosys in 2018 uh, had prepared from Prepinsta. So, you know, we are the market leaders in that. We know how to get uh, students placed and inside out. Uh, so, yes, all the information that we'll give you in this video and the, what all information has been given on the website should be really helpful for you. And we've specifically mentioned the, the name of this video as Road to Infosys because, yes, it will be your Road to Infosys and you'll be able to uh, crack the test. Right. So let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Atulya. And uh, I've done my graduation from VIT Vellore and I was placed in eight different companies uh, or I got eight different on-campus offers. One of those offers was for more than 10 lakh uh, plus and I was also the Chancellor's Excellence Award winner at VIT Vellore. I'd also cleared Infosys though I hadn't joined Infosys at a later point in time and uh, you know we at Prepinsta have helped about 5 lakh students to get placed till date. Uh, so, you know, we know what uh, how, what placements are and we would be the best place for you to help uh, or to get the job in Infosys, right? So let's just go ahead. Uh, I'd like to skip a few things in the video. All that information you can also always find on that website. So I like to uh, only focus upon the most important things that you need to know before giving the exams and uh, uh, always ask questions in the comment section. We'll always answer that. So it, we don't if you don't if we miss out any information that we haven't given or you just have any doubt simply uh, so what this video will be covering uh, in this video we'll tell you about the application process uh, uh, if you're applying on campus so I don't think that this part is necessary for you but yes uh, uh, you know there are a few people who also give on campus exam and side by side apply for Infosys off campus so they it increases their uh, chance of getting selected and you can always do that Infosys uh, off campus drives or referral drives happen throughout the year and anytime you can you, you know apply and within the span of next uh, one plus two months uh, one or two months you can get your interview or the written test done right and uh, you can always find that off-campus information on our website so we'll tell you how to apply for Infosys Reptile Drive uh, you know the number of times you can apply or can you reappear for any particular drive then we'll cover the written test part right uh, what is the syllabus what is the test pattern uh, what is the cutoff what is the sectional statistics for Infosys uh, will all be covered in that particular section then we'll come to the interview pattern what is the syllabus for interview? The difference between the syllabus for a CSIT person or a non-CSIT person. So this is the most asked question. Um, we'll cover that. Uh, we'll cover everything in detail, specifically about this particular question in detail in this particular video. Uh, uh, so you know you because this is the most asked question and most people have doubts about it. We'll also tell you one thing that you can, will not find anywhere else, and we've only been able to get from uh, you know emphasis. Uh, the grading scheme that is used by interviewers. So we all know about the written grading scheme, uh, but it's always, a, you know, something that we never get to know. So what on what basis with does the interview give you marks or grades or points? And uh, uh, is it a ABCD or is it a scale out of 10? So we'll tell you all that information in the video also. Then we'll also get uh, give you the most asked questions and uh, something free is also there uh, and a big surprise at the very end. Right. So we'll go ahead to uh, with this video then. Right. Uh, so application. If you are uh, on applying off campus, this will obviously be helpful for you. Even if you're, uh, you know, preparing for emphasis for on, on campus drive, you can apply off campus as well. So it's not uh, a thing that you cannot apply. Infosys accepts those. Uh, it's a myth that you cannot apply if, if they are coming to your campus. Uh, they are specifically coming to hire best people and what they have seen that you know from this particular campus we have the best people working in our company uh, but they do they conduct the off-campus drives to hire 
from the higher best people from uh, you know colleges that they are not able to cover so a uh, tooth uh, you know your ear or the people who are not able to get placed in infosys uh, you know can always apply you should not just have a uh, you know gap of more than two years in your academics uh, if you don't have it then you can always apply so how to apply you know you ask a person who works in Infosys to refer you now there's a uh, benefit of that person in referring you also because if yes you get selected uh, he'll also get a bonus of 5000 rupees so that is how you know the corporations work so if uh, you know a current employee refers someone at any stage even it uh, even at a fresher stage or you know specifically at uh, higher stages where the amount is more than 5000 rupees so if they are successfully selected the person gets you know money and one of my friend uh, referred a lot of people um, and uh, he also got a free trip to Sri Lanka from his company he doesn't work in Infosys though but yes uh, just a reference uh, you know they will refer you via their internal uh, portal and then uh, they'll ask you a few details about yourself like uh, you know your uh, date of birth and uh, 10th and 12th and graduation percentile and all that they'll give you a proper format you can always reply to that format the referral drive is the most effective drive uh, because Infosys uh, you know prefers people uh, uh, who are referred by internal employees over people who are not right and then the HR will get back to you with the test details location time and date and uh, we'll tell you about it so five different phases of off-campus drives are there uh, you know first is January to February it will start in about mid January where uh, for 15 days they will accept uh, people who are applying then 15 days will be standing period wherein you know you can prepare then in the last 15 days or that is you know for 15th Feb or to 28th Feb or 29th Feb um, on one of those weekend interview or uh, sorry written test will be there and on the second day just the next day uh, the interview will be there so again the same drive happens in april uh, march to april the phase three uh, happens in may to june phase four happens in july to october and then the phase five happens in november to december so this is only relevant to off-campus people uh, on campus it is getting conducted in your campus itself so you don't need to worry about it if you want you can also apply this particular way and then you'll also get the test details or you can, you'll be able to sit for emphasis for the two times but yes there is a catch you should have a gap of six months in application and uh, so if you've registered for Infosys today so till the six months from today are completed you even if you apply um, the system will ch chuck you out and you'll not be able to sit for that so uh, the, the pattern coming to the pattern uh, of Infosys unlike other companies Infosys has a two tire pattern wherein they differentiate between grade A colleges and grade B and C colleges uh, what are grade A colleges? Grade A colleges are generally colleges uh, for, like NITs, VITs and all. IITs, Infosys does not go because of the lower package. And in this case, the technical interview is not conducted, right? Directly, you will have the written round and then you will have the HR interview. The HR can ask you, uh, you know, basic computer science questions. Uh, it's up to him. But uh, the main agenda of those HR uh, of that interview is to ask you HR questions. So generally it is not asked uh, technical interviews in these particular campuses, but it's up to HR. Yeah. Uh, in grade B and C colleges, the written round is there. Yes, obviously. Uh, the technical interview is also there added to that. Uh, and the reason why uh, the this is conducted is uh, internally Infosys that does a lot of data an analysis on how employees are performing and then they find a high correlation between uh, students from better colleges performing uh, better in the company and then to reduce down the amount spent on the recruitment process uh, they've realized that you know uh, not conducting uh, a technical interview in grade a colleges does not impact the selection success or you know uh, the number of people who are performing well from a particular grade a colleges does not go down so you know the successful hiring will always there for grade a colleges but for grade b 
and see the written round technical round hr round all will be there and some examples are you know there are some good colleges also like ip university or amity and you know other state colleges as well so maybe later on ip and amity can also go up in great colleges once the set uh, justifies or their data analysis says that students from ip university perform very highly in infosys so in that case they maybe later uh, two or three years from now uh, a technical interview may not be conducted right so let's come to the written test uh, the written test has about uh, 10 questions uh, and you need to solve them them in 25 minutes the verbal ability question uh, has uh, verbal ability 40 questions are there 40 questions are there and uh, time given is 35 minutes for reasoning, you have 15 questions, time again given is 35 minutes. What we like to mention is that the reasoning questions are very, very difficult. We'll come to that part later in this video, but uh, you should focus more upon reasoning and verbal English because it is very competitive, right? Uh, the pattern is like that. You cannot swap between sections. So, for example, if you are currently uh, in logical section and uh, you don't feel like answering those questions, so you... Uh, want to move ahead to quants or English instead. You cannot do that in Infosys uh, test because the UI does not allow you to do that. Once you only complete all the logical questions, then only you can go ahead with the quantitative aptitude question. So the first section in the test is logical, then quantitative aptitude and then English, right? But there's a good thing. You can swap between questions. So it's not like AMCAT exam wherein you have to answer a particular question, uh, maybe correctly or incorrectly, then only you will be able to get to the next question. If you're, let's say, on third question and you, you, you don't feel like answering or you're not able to, you're not very confident about that and you decide to do that later, you can flag that question and go to... Uh, you know 16 questions 17 question or wherever and uh, you know the flagged questions uh, will appear in the ui in the red colors to remind you that these questions you flagged uh, to do later and if you can go back to them before the time completes for any particular section right there is no negative marking in the test uh, so it, which is a good thing but what we'd like to suggest is you know not blindly mark the any answer that you see there is always a good probability that if you read the question and if you read the options you will always be able to rule out any uh, particular option that will definitely not be the answer uh, and uh, if you rule out uh, let's say one or two options then you're left with two uh, options and your person you know probability of marking that particular question incre correctly increases and thus your percentile will also get increased so never mark those questions uh, randomly like mark all a's mark all b's uh, you know just read the question if you don't know the answer and try to make sense which would be the best one or best correct answer right uh, let's come to the logical reasoning part uh, there's a slight misinformation in this uh, particular slide there are number of number of questions in the logical reasoning are 15 and the time given is 35 minutes the cutoff for this particular section is about 80 and uh, generally uh, the cutoff is higher for uh, you know off campus drives uh, for on campus it will be lower so for off campus it can go beyond 80 uh, 80 so maybe 85 and for on campus it can go lower to maybe 75 also so we've took the average of all the information and we've provided you the, that the approx that you should be aiming should be 80 percentile and uh, generally because for off campus uh, that we've seen about uh, 70,000 students applied for Infosys off campus uh, in the last year and the number of seats were only for off campus drive in all the five phases were only 5,000. 5, so you know you can see the number of people applying are more and the number of uh, seats are less so you know the cutoff is higher itself. Uh, and this is the first section in the test. The reasoning uh, Syllabus is you'll have arrangement questions, cellularism questions, script arithmetic, uh, coding, decoding, number series, shapes and cubes, and co uh, clocks and calendar. So the approx number of problems uh, we mentioned zero and five, and you'll be like little confused, you know, why they mentioned zero or five. Most of the websites or places that we've seen, it's mentioned like a correct number three, correct number four, correct number, you know, just exactly three, four, five. So those people are making, uh, you know, wrong or you know, blind information. They th they think that okay, number series question is there. Let's just put uh, four as the number of questions. So this is not. They've not done their analysis. So don't 
uh, trust anyone except us because we are the only people who are doing analysis for any particular drive that happens so every uh every uh, every time any drives happen we contact about 200 300 people via call and you know collect those information and make data uh, and do data analysis on it and find all that information so what we found out that uh you know there are either zero questions asked from arrangements or there are five questions out of 15 questions in the logical reasoning test there are five questions asked from arrangements and the probability is 50 50% or 0.5 right so you know uh, for example if 50 people give the test 25 of them on average will get arrangement questions and 25 of them will not what we've also seen is that there is a correlation between arrangements and syllogism right uh, it is not true it may it is possible that you'll be uh, asked arrangement questions and both syllogism questions also but from a very high probability we've seen that if arrangement questions are asked then syllogism questions are not asked and if syllogism question are asked then arrangement questions are not asked but yes we've seen ex uh, you know exceptions wherein uh, both of them were asked and but is but that is in very rare cases so for example i'll tell you we conducted uh, we called about 200 people and uh, only three of them reported that we had uh, you know both arrangements and syllogism and um, uh, others said uh, some said we don't remember some said this but you know there's always a data part um, related to any particular uh, preparation right uh, number of uh, questions from coding decoding are 0 3 or 5 so you know uh, depending upon number series number of number series questions asked uh, number of shapes and cubes uh, questions asked in test it may be 0 it may be 3 or 5 and we've also given you the probability uh, the most important thing uh, to take out from this is script arithmetic now script arithmetic uh, we've been helping a lot of students and then you know all of them all of those come to us that you know sir we're not able to solve script arithmetic questions what to do and uh, you know those questions that are coming in the drive are very difficult so all the previous year script arithmetic questions uh, that are asked in infosys are given on our website we'll provide you uh, all the links uh, to the everything that i say in this video or all the things that i ask you to refer in the video in the comment section below so yes uh, from the link the, where you need to prepare crypt arithmetic i'll give you in the comment section below or the description of this video below so you can check out uh, always in each and every test we've seen three crypt arithmetic questions were asked now this means that if you are able to solve crypt arithmetic questions the probability of you getting selected goes very high right uh, but we've seen only 20 to 25 percent uh, people uh, are able to solve crypt arithmetic questions or all three crypt arithmetic questions so if you give them uh, if you give proper uh, you know preparation for about week or maybe two weeks for emphasis and prepare dedicatedly then i think maybe a day and two you can uh, just specifically dedicate for crypt arithmetic questions and solve those right and uh, we have elitmus script arithmetic there's an exam called elitmus also and uh, in those script arithmetic questions that are asked in elitmus are very very difficult so if you want to solve very very difficult questions you can go ahead to elitmus script arithmetic section a little fairly uh, difficult questions are asked in uh, infosys not that difficult as elitmus you can check that at infosys dashboard for script arithmetic right this is an example of crypt arithmetic question in fact uh, your plus u is equals to heart if o is equals to 4 then you have to find out the value or the summation of y plus u plus r plus e now uh, i don't think i should solve this particular question in this video you should uh, i can cover more important details about the infosys test pattern and more importantly about the uh, you know uh, infosys interview which has a lot of uh, confusion in the market and i can dedicate that time this particular uh, question we've solved as a video and it is there on an, on our youtube channel and i'll also post the uh, you know the link to this particular video in the description of this video so you can always go and check out this video after this uh, video ends right and you know not just this particular question we have about 50 more uh, crypt arithmetic questions on our infosys uh, crypt arithmetic uh, uh, question page right so you can check that information there 
and uh, you know sample questions so these are also kind of sample questions so you can take a moment to read these particular crypto arithmetic questions that are asked in the test these are a little difficult which is why i'm focusing upon these because uh, the others are you know you can practice them but these uh, you need to understand the concept of for crypto arithmetic right let's come to the aptitude section the number of questions in this section are 10 and the time given is 25 the cutoff for this is 75 percent which is about seven to eight questions may vary upon you know the number of people Infosys wants to hire from any particular college and then how you do in the test and uh, how others are also doing in the test on average but uh, approximately it is about seven to eight question this is the second uh, uh, section in the test and uh, the topics that are asked in uh, asked in the test are percentages mixture and allegations time distance time and work probability mensuration permutation combination and profit and loss and you know these are the number of approximate problem and the probability of that being asked so you know in, in this particular section time and work has 100 percent probability that you know one time and work exactly one time and work question is asked in emphasis and this is the result of the data analysis that we've done by asking students so we've seen a lot of websites putting wrong information and random information so we just decided you know let's just do the data analysis and give the right information or the best information to the student it may be a little confusing but this is the most correct information and you can find all that information on the website uh, so no need to take screenshots on you know note it down on pen and paper this is on our emphasis preparation dashboard on the website uh, right sample question uh, speed time and distance sample question so which I don't think I should solve I'll give you the link to this right then there is English section. <laughs> so a uh, very uh, strange thing. Finally, Infosys has some uh, uh, Infosys guys have finally decided, you know, let's ask all the or give a proper syllabus to the student for the English verbal section. So, you know, there is no probability factor involved. There is there are always reading comprehension, 10 questions that are asked in the test and tense completion five questions are asked in the test then again sentence improvement error spotting vocabulary fill in the blanks and miscellaneous topics so these miscellaneous topics we've given on the website right focus the most upon the reading comprehension part and uh, you know generally what we've seen is that reading comprehension should not be attempted at first right because what happens is that uh, uh, we asked uh, about a lot of students and then they told us we were not able to finish the english section in time they also told about the, this about logical reasoning section but you know the that section uh, is because of the difficulty uh, level of that section and if you're not prepared well then you're not able to solve but in this particular section reading comprehension takes a lot of time so i think first you should skip this reading comprehension section because we've realized uh, students taking about 15 to 20 20 minutes in reading comprehension and then realizing okay we, i have very less time for uh, other questions in in the test and you've not seen those questions you don't even know that you know what is the difficulty level of those so i'll suggest start from uh, sentence completion this will be the second uh, uh, topic that will be asked in the test in the sequential order and then move ahead and then finally you can come back to reading comprehensions and uh, for about 15 minutes last 15 minutes take for reading comprehensions i think this these questions you will be able to solve in a very less time so with a calm mind then you can you know give time to reading comprehension right these are the verbal questions examples and then there is this is the example of you know uh, sentence improvement and uh, the first one and this is the example of fill in the blanks and um, you know no need to solve these questions we have about 300 400 such questions which were asked in emphasis on our dashboard so you can always study from there we've given proper solutions and everything right now let's talk about cutoff i know i've already talked about it so let's just summarize cutoff 15 questions in logical about 9 to 11 questions in quants 10 questions cutoff is about 7 questions sometimes it's 6 questions also sometimes it's 8, qu eight questions also uh, depends uh, but on average it's 7 english about 30 to 32 questions in on camp uh, in off campus but this we've realized in on campus test it's lesser somehow 27 to 26 questions for on campus for english and 30 to 32 questions for off-campus english so make sure of that right 
uh okay so the number i'll also tell you since we have covered everything about the written test uh you know we've also told you 95 percent of those students who prepare who selected in infosys in 2018 were fr studied from prep and stuff 53 percent of those students joined our infosys preparation course for the written test and uh, you know all of those uh, most of those were selected so you know you can join our infosys paid preparation course if you like and uh, you know if you don't want to join it maybe you can just go ahead with the free material that we have on the website and we have loads of free material uh, unlike uh, many other people uh, we like to help students who cannot afford to pay and you know personally uh, I want to, to help all the students getting jobs in different companies because it makes makes us feel very good when we see those happiness on your faces and when we see your dreams getting achieved so which is a big deal uh, so if you have any question related to anything uh, if you if you've already commented on our YouTube videos you'll realize we always reply instantaneously to the comments so you can you can ask comments you can ask any doubt about infosys not about infosys about paid material or anything we'll answer that in the comment section right so let's come to the interview part which happens to be the second part <laughs> you know we've taken this bulldozer picture on purpose because <laughs> It's very, uh, it's very troublesome to understand the interview pat pattern and a lot of people just go blindly to the interview that, you know, let's just go for the interview and we'll see, we'll speak good English. And that is now how it works for emphasis. So there is a definite syllabus for Infosys from 2016 onwards. We've seen that uh, generally what Infosys HRs do because, you know, uh, a lot of variation uh, in how the interview was conducted some some interview will ask really difficult questions some interviewers will ask really easy questions and uh, there was a lot of discrepancy on uh, you know different different interviews so emphasis hr decided upon a syllabus okay that is something that you can ask in the interview and that is something that you cannot cannot ask in the interview so there is c uh, C++ and Java which is not C++ and Java it is basically object oriented programming so either uh, you can go ahead with C++ or you can go ahead with Java um, if you know any other object oriented language uh, they will not ask questions from that generally we've seen that right coding questions are there uh, very simple coding questions like printing uh, Fibonacci series or checking if a number is prime or not multiplying two matrices or finding the inverse of matrix those kind of questions are asked generally these coding questions uh, CSE people get harder coding questions and non CSIT people generally are asked one coding question at least in all cases uh, but those coding questions are fairly e fairly easy coding questions uh, because you know those non CSIT people have not studied uh, computer science or IT in detail so even though they are applying for an IT company which is why they have to ask you coding questions this uh, a lot of people also have myth about this that you know Infosys does not ask technical things yes they did not used to uh, in 2016-17 or earlier than that but uh, from now onwards we've seen that coding questions or C++ or technical questions are asked because necessarily you are applying for an IT company and uh, if uh, they expect you to know coding at least right uh, but yes they give a lot of leniency to non IT CS people and uh, though it depends on interviewer to interviewer also then there is branch specific theory question uh, very very basic theory questions uh, from your branch like you know difference between object oriented programming and procedural programming from mechanical engineering they may ask you different basic questions which of uh, topics from your first year and second year generally um, and from triple e they'll ask you different questions from first year second year uh, chapters generally and those are very basic uh, you know uh, definitions or comparisons questions we'll cover that we have a separate video by the way for infosys syllabus uh, uh, or infosys interview preparation you must go and check out that video we'll cover we have covered everything uh, in detail i'm just skipping to uh, of a lot of things in this video because you know uh, we have very limited amount of time and it would be irrelevant to a lot of CSIT people watching uh, this video if I cover 
a lot in detail about you know mechanical or triple e so we'll just cover a lot of common things and then you can always study from our invoices preparation for interview dashboard and for your brand specific questions right project is the most important thing right project wise uh, out of 200 people that we called we uh, noted down that 173 people told us uh, that project based questions for us now what kind of project based questions for us they generally uh, will take your resume and you know it's kind of mixed they'll uh, take your resume and ask basic resume questions and then finally they'll come to your project part and mention the resume and then they'll ask you you know tell me about your final year project and then in the meantime that you tell about project questions they ask you counter questions from the information that you're giving to him so for example if a triple e question uh, triple e uh, person says uh, that I've done project in digital circuit and all so they'll ask you to make the uh, you know the circuit diagram of your particular project same for EC and other circuit diagram for a uh, CSE student who's done his project on Android app development so you know he'll just google a little about Android app development and ask you basic Android app de de development uh, questions not very difficult uh, very most basic questions he just they just want to check that you know uh, what you've done in the project or not right and generally what we've seen is that you know uh, uh, you may be from let's say a branch uh, you know production engineering and your interviewer may be from uh, mechanical or you know triple e let's say so in that case uh, they are always provided with a laptop and uh, they try to google things uh, so you know you can always relate to your resume and you know pre-google things that he may ask you uh, based upon the anticipation of things right and then there is basic HR questions which has no syllabus the HR itself set the syllabus for the technical for those for their own they haven't because it's fairly simple right uh, time given for the, the technical interview is 15 to 25 minutes what we've seen is that the people who were selected uh, you know generally their interview lasted a little longer on average so on data and analysis, we realized that, you know, the person who was selected, his interview lasted approximately for 21 minutes and 25 seconds approximately. And the person who was not selected in Infosys, their interview lasted about uh, 18 minutes or, you know, a little lesser than that, 17 minutes approximately. Uh, so, you know, there's a little correlation, but yes, uh, there are, uh, you know, different uh, things also. Uh, a person uh, I got to speak to a person whose interview only lasted for about 14 minutes and he was selected so it depends on interviewer to interviewer we've done data analysis and you know it's the average of that there are other cases as well so the HR question or the HR interview will last about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, we'll cover the HR questions later in this video so uh, I, we've done a lot of data analysis as we told this information you can find on our dashboard uh, for of uh, Infosys interview preparation so I think uh, you know the percentage of time spent for CSIT and non CSIT on different uh, you know projects non project or coding questions or you know object oriented C++ questions so all this uh, data and analysis you can find on the dashboard right this is one thing that no one knows and uh, you know even we've we've only got to know uh, from our secret sources how does Infosys grade you at the time of interview right so they tell their uh, <coughs> interviewers to give you grades between A to D now there is no ENF right uh, the the portal that they have where they are filling the information they can't uh, the drop down only has option for A B C D right and uh, I'll tell you about uh, the parameters that they grade on in the next slide right so when your technical interview is getting uh, conducted the first point that they grade you is on English speaking now English speaking uh, you see is also there in HR interview now the reason why uh, there is a lot of focus upon uh, English speaking in Infosys and in, even in the written test and even in the interview is that uh, mostly 30-40% of your time would be uh, in any particular day would be spent to you know speak to the client over calls or emails or Skype calls and uh, you know if you're, if you're not able to understand your clients' 
लैंग्वेज और यू नो जनरली इट्स इंग्लिश मोस्टली फॉर इंडियंस एंड सो इफ़ यू नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश दैट द क्लाइंट इज स्पीकिंग एंड यू नो इफ़ यू कैन नॉट मेक योर पॉइंट टू बी अंडरस्टूड बाई क्लाइंट्स विद द वे यू आर स्पीकिंग योर इंग्लिश इट गिव्स अ लॉट ऑफ बैड इम्प्रेशन on infosys because the client thinks that you are very incapable to handle his projects and just gives a bad op- uh, opinion about the project or the infosys so they generally prefer uh, they prefer uh, people who speak good english over people who have good coding skills coding and everything they can teach you in the span of 3 months and even at the time whenever your project is going in infosys or the uh, you know whatever companies sub project you are in infosys there you have a plenty of time to learn any particular technology uh, but you cannot learn english in a sp- uh, or they cannot make you learn english uh, so yes uh, you should be good in speaking english so the first point is english speaking then your coding skills so the, generally they ask you one coding question or maybe more coding question based upon that they will give you a b c d and so on your technical skills may st- mostly concern of what you filled in the resume um and the questions that he asked to you uh, to verify that do you know what you've written in the uh, resume the technical branch specific questions that he is asked to you and the project questions so based upon all those information he'll grade you out of a b c d then overall what he thinks of you to get selected or not right so generally what we've seen is that uh, people who were always selected uh, were the ones who had a's and b's so if you get c's and d's you will not get selected so make sure that you know you focus uh, upon english speaking coding technical and everything right and then there is hr question or hr interview and then again in hr uh, you have english as one parameter then there is teamwork capabilities i'll tell you everything about uh, teamwork capabilities i think later in the video then there is cultural fit and flexibility right uh, on all these parameters the hr will mark you right uh, we were coming about project questions generally in project they ask you questions like you know tell me the details of the projects that you've done circuit diagram explain your final year projects and you know this question was asked a lot of time what are the social benefits of your projects if any uh, a lot of other questions which were most asked in infosys uh, uh, interview uh, are already given on our website and most of them are repeated again and again in the interview so you can check that now hr questions are you know uh, generally as i i as i told you you know team work capabilities cultural fit and flexibility right uh, so what are your future goals and uh, are you preparing for mba exams so these particular questions the hr will definitely be asking you because they want to check if you will stay at infosys or not so if you they ask you what are your future goals and you say you know i want to do a job and later on after 2 3 years i want to do mtech and i want to do mba and so on so forth so in that case the hr uh, will realize that you know you're not going to stay at infosys for a very longer period of time and then they'll gra- grade you lesser in that particular section uh, are you a team player Uh, so i think uh, let's go back to the uh, previous question what are you, what are your future goals so this particular question can be tackled as you know uh, i want to learn new technologies i want to learn uh, how it feels like to work in a corporate culture since I've, this would be my first job so i'm open up to suggestions how this journey takes me and uh, learning new languages uh, maybe buying a car and uh, taking my parents on a trip to this particular city all these particular questions or answers hrs really like uh, are you preparing for mba I, you know this is very tricky questions if you say yes <laughs> that's it never ever say yes are you preparing yes for mba exams always say no even if you are just tell them you know because of financial conditions or maybe you know i am not uh interested in mba because i'm a, uh, i want to do a technical job and so on so forth okay so just skip that so then let's come to are you a team player they'll ask you then you'll say yes and then they'll ask you a counter question give one instance of you know when you were a good team player or when you did your final year project or uh, what team player capabilities did you show <coughs> so you, you know you can pre prepare the answers and uh, you know these are you ready to l- relocate this is one of the most important question out of 200 people that we collected data from 
uh, 180 about 180 people were asked this question and this is continuously asked in the previous and the future dive it will be asked uh, the reason why they ask you that uh, infosys re- recently uh, realize that you know generally to a lot of uh, women uh, employees uh, are not ready to relocate so if your training location is at mysore and uh, then they and your hometown is in uh, you know let's say jaipur and if you are given a location in kolkata so they refuse to go to kolkata and then they give you reasons and in that case since you are a women uh, since you are a female employee they generally have to listen to you because of the culture ethics of com- followed in the company but uh, what they've done now is that uh, they've given a certain mark based parameter if you say are you ready to relocate and if you say no then they'll give you b and then your chances to get selected in the next round will decrease so always say you are ready to relocate and in fact be ready to relocate because uh, your training will always be at mysore for infosys in very rare cases that may be at different places and then you will have to relocate based upon the different projects internal projects that would try to recruit you internally in infosys right and uh, how do you feel yourself working at weekends and night shift this again is a trick question you have to say yes and uh, you know a good smart answer to this question could be you know Okay, uh, I, I'm a night person, so it's good thing for me if I I can work in night because uh, as an engineer, uh, most of most of the students used to stay up at night, and you know uh, I just feel that I'm really productive when it's quiet. Um, so this is a good way to ask. And working at weekends, I think here you should be honest. Everyone knows that no one is. Uh, uh you know happy about working on weekends so you can ask you know uh, yes uh, in case i realize uh, that there is a critical thing that requires me to be there uh, or there is a project delivery that has to be completed and the deadline is getting delayed so i will take the ownership and then yes i will get my job done by working on weekends also because i love my work if my work is getting affected uh, then in that case i mentally i i i become a real re- a little annoying and i would like to complete my work on weekends correct right? so you can answer that or maybe other ideas for this particular question that you would have in mind but make sure that it's a smart answer right coding questions i told you you know recursion factorial of a number using recursion this is asked a lot a lot times and not just in infosys in companies like tcs accenture also right uh so i'll tell you uh, you know why you should uh, trust prepinsta uh, is that we are the market leaders in uh, placement preparation most of the we are the most trusted website and we are the most visited website for placements and the information is always updated so what you will find on different website is that uh, they have to, uh, you know two three years back information and then they never update their pages and you know they will ask you to pay 2000 rupees 3000 rupees to join their courses and you know uh, then they will say that uh, you know you will get selected the, the, those things are uh, you know i don't think you should go ahead with those kind of things you should try the product so what i will suggest to you is that you know go ahead prepare from prepinsta and uh, if you like the free material then you know you can always go ahead with the paid one it has a lot of videos it has a lot of uh, questions that additionally you will get and uh, you know 95% you see the facts right 95% of the people uh, place in infosys studied from us 94% in, in tcs and you know amcat it's even more i think uh, um 99% of the people who prepare for amcat check out our website at, at any given point in time right and uh, you know i'd like to thank you uh, all of you make sure that you know you also subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, like the video share this video with your friends on whatsapp groups and facebook and show your love if you have any question yes please do ask i cannot stress more uh, because this helps us as well when people ask questions we get to know what their pain point is and then we improve our website in that case so you know uh, i really love answering questions because that is the way uh, we learn uh, improving our content right and you can always create uh, a playlist on youtube also and add this video to the playlist so thank you this is atulya uh, checking out and uh, best of luck to all of you 
if you need to contact me you can always message us on our facebook page or uh, ask in the comment section best of luck